you got uh, four major cards, three major cards in November. Um, is this the busiest month you've ever had at university? I think so, yes. It's uh, not not just because we have so many events, it's also the quality of the events. It's, it's high class um, boxing and uh, big audiences and a lot of work and uh, I think it's the most busiest months in, in, uh, in boxing we, we ever did, yes. So then you've just got one show in December and then... Uh we, have, we will have two shows in December. With December 5 uh, we do uh, uh, Spotlight in Halle Saale and December 9 we will go uh, with Spotlight and Eurosport uh, to Zöld. There was a, a big situation with uh, Arthur Abraham and uh, Felix Stur. And We have two tremendous fighter in, uh, fighters in Germany with uh, Sturm and Abraham and everybody of course want to see the big fighter um, of, of both of them. But let's see what will happen. Do you think it will happen? Um, as a boxing fan, I would love to see the, the fight, for sure. And I know that uh, Felix also want to do the fights. And, and uh, The other side, the Sauerland camp, they, they offered a lot in, uh, in, in the press and media. Um, so let's see if, if they uh, have meant it seriously or not. You've got, uh, I think, both ends of the 140-pound uh, title with the uh, the WBA, is that, is that right? You're going to be promoting that fight? Yeah, uh, so um, Kotelnik has to fight Maidana and um, the fight is going to take place probably in Genoa. Uh, we don't know yet where it will take place. Mm -hmm. The only thing we know is that it will take place. As far as uh, the Zoltertai, what's next for him? We will, uh, we will uh, say that in the next days. Uh -huh. And. Uh, Inkin is, is Inkin Balzai is set. Inkin Balzai is set, as you uh, uh, could uh, hear uh, during the uh, convention. Uh, Balzai is a mandatory challenger for for Inkin, mm -hmm. and uh, the fight was going to take place in January. So, so um, uh, Ferhat Arslan just lost. He's gonna he's gonna be continuing his career. I read. Uh, think he'll get a chance to get back in the top echelon soon? Absolutely, he's a tremendous fighter and uh, okay he lost to a um, very good, uh, uh, Guillermo Jones was in, in marvelous shape and uh, mm -hmm. that was a very good fight of Guillermo Jones but we cannot forget or we, we should not forget that Fira beat um, uh, very high ranked guys like Grigory Drotz, like uh, the Dingeling man, like uh, Valery Brudov uh, and so on so he's, he's still uh, a big number in the cruiserweight division and uh, I think that a lot of people uh, would love to see him uh, come back. Something that Universum does that's very interesting that a lot of promoters don't do is put their own fighters against each other in the in the Stahl duel. Stahl duel. Those, yes. those are great. Uh, what, what was, uh, how did that get started and are you going to continue to be doing things like that? You know we, we have Universum and uh, we want to have the best fighters out there and uh, we, have, we just have four um, possibilities with, with the councils and, and uh, with, with the organizations. So um, at least um, it is a question who is the best. And, and the fighters know that from the amateur days too. Um, it is a, a normal thing for a fighter um, to see who is the best in the division. So uh, what we do in professional fighting in Universum is nothing that the fighter did not know. Is it hard for the fighters to fight someone that lots of times they're friends with? It depends, but at least um, also a fighter wants to know who is the best in that division. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the big fight with uh, Bramer coming up in a couple of weeks. What's going to happen in that one? Oh, this is uh, the last fight in November for us, for the, the, the three big shows in November. And of course Jürgen Bremer um, as, a, as a German fighter um, would mean a lot uh, for Universum if he becomes world champion. But uh, Garay is a very, very strong opponent. so. Um, this is going to be a tough fight, a close fight, and uh, but but this is uh, quality boxing, and this is what we need in in Europe and Germany for the to give the fans uh, uh, quality fights like Bremer